Hello there guys and very much welcome to another tutorial here on the helper. This time we'll be doing something very cool. We'll be connecting our Xbox 360 Guitar Hero guitar to our computer. Uh, and by doing that we'll be playing um, games. Basically you can play Guitar Hero on PC. I've not installed it yet but I've got something called Fritz on Fire which is kind of the same thing. Uh, and anyways, the process is the same. Uh, there's lots of videos on how to get the um, actual Guitar Hero PC game. Okay, so first we need um, we need to have a Guitar Hero guitar that is wireless for Xbox 360. Um, and then you need something called an um, dongle, Xbox 360 dongle, like this Microsoft Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows. Um, I'm sure you can find them, find them on some on the internet, something somewhere in the EU um, to purchase. Um, basically, it's around twenty dollars. I think I bought mine for like fifteen, fifteen dollars or so. And yeah, so um, it's gonna probably be a little tricky getting set up, um, but don't worry. Um, First off, once you get it, it's it's probably gonna say the driver CD or whatever is probably gonna say um, if you're using Windows 8 or Windows 10, which is very likely, it's gonna say your Windows version does not support this. But there's a simple fix for this. Go to Xbox 360. Sorry for my noisy keyboard. Wireless driver just do something like that and it's going to be from Microsoft official website um, it's a software called yeah this just choose your operating system um, and uh, use Windows 7 um, either 32 or 64 bit doesn't matter as long as it's the same as your computer um, and it doesn't matter that it's Windows 7 and you have Windows 10 for it because it's still gonna work. Anyways, click on, once you have installed this software, click on start and X, and this will pop up. You're gonna go to device manager. So here, you'll probably have something up here saying unknown or something like that, which is basically this one for me. Um, so I, I can't really do it again, but I can try to t explain this. Um, on the one that says unknown, right click it and click update driver software. Then you're gonna choose this um, search computer for driver software. Um, make sure this is set, it checked, and then click here. Uh, let me choose a list over blah, blah, blah. And then you'll find this one, Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows, select that click next and click yes basically it will reinstall the driver software on my dongle thing here okay it's done now um, and it might want you to um, re um, restart your PC anyways basically the connection should work now um, so now turn on your controller you can't really see this but whatever and as you see there, something connected, and now I have my guitar set up. Um, so let's find the game we're playing, which is FO Fix, which is basically Fritz on Fire. This is my keyboard moving around. Um, so the thing now is we need something called um, Joy to Key or something similar. If you know how to use it by yourself, cool. But if you don't, you can go to Joy to Key, go to Download, um, and then basically just download it um, from either of these sources. And you're gonna get a folder like this, just extract it somewhere. Open the program here. Uh, there, yeah. So as you can see, it reacts when I'm. Um, yeah, pr uh, pressing my guitar and as well as the buttons. So one thing that might be a problem is that when you, you see I press button one, two, 
and then now I press the third button and then X like the fourth and then my fourth X like my third um, so you're gonna have to get that um, checked out so it's pretty actually fairly simple let's just go to this one um, click bulk assignment wizard um, I'm gonna press enter because in game if I were to use the keyboard to strum I'll press enter just arrow key left and then if I strum down enter again arrow key left here okay so now comes the buttons um, basically this is button one green button which is gonna be in game you use F1 2 3 4 and 5 um, and remember this is for the uh, frets on fire game it's not surely it's not necessarily gonna be the same for a guitar hero um, anyways the first button will be F1 second button will be F2 but now when I pressed on the yellow it counted as button 4 down here and when I pressed on the blue it counted as button 3 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say F4 for this one and F3 for the next one and then F5 for the last one let's click finish so basically um, there's also settings like the whammy bar here you can see now I'm moving the whammy bar um, but I haven't had the time to set that up in this game so now it works basically I can go and let's just try a song basically that's how you do it. Um, if you have any questions, just post below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.